Let's see. So, we will check them one by one to see if it's correct. And as I told earlier, he has some problems with numismatics. Sometimes it makes a large, uh, big errors, confusing, for example, rare dime variety with rare penny variety. Okay, let's see. 1949 S was what time? With full bands, I guess. Yes, it is indeed rare. I encountered several of some at heritage auctions. Why? Low mint. 2.5 million. Let's check out if it's actual mintage. 1949 S. Rule. Let's see. Thirteen point five million. Yes, mintage was accurate. We are good to go. Okay, rare in high grades, especially in full bands. Value can fetch several thousand dollars in high mint state grades with full bands. So we go to full bands option. And we go to guiding price list. It's indeed. S starting from MS67 Plus, it is worth thousands of dollars. In MS68, it's almost seven thousand, eight thousand dollars. Let's just single specimen again here. No sales record. This is just just certified specimen MS68 with full bands. But for MS67 plus, we can check out this listing. For example, this one was sold at Heritage. Let's see. This is mm, very nicely preserved and dappled. Uh, with some how it's called amber amber tones velocity amber tones so this one was graded MS67 plus full bands by PCGS this toned specimen was sold for $1020 on July 23, 2023 Let's checking out the back side. So here we have full bands, obviously. Lower band separating as well. So S standing for San Francisco Mint. Back side has some dappled hues as well. Mainly around the Around central part is silvery, silvery gray, and lustrous. Okay, so we check this for ChatGPT. It was accurate. Now we go to 1950s. Was what time? Also with full bands. Why? Scarce with full bands making it highly collectible. Can be worth over $2,000 in MS66 full bands or higher. Let's go to 1950. What was what time? Value can be worth over $2,000 in MS66 FB or higher. So the pricing is little bit tricky and therefore inaccurate price is less than thousand dollars even an ms 67 68 oh it's ms oh sorry sorry we didn't check full bands i almost doubted the chat gpt uh, the price is not accurate for price that it said it provided uh, ms6 according to sale listings 
the highest value for MS 68 specimen with full bands. Mm. It's just a PCGS. You see, listing. Maybe NGC has had more valuable specimen. This $1,880. Heritage auctions again. Oh, this is NGC graded. So the listing includes. I don't know whether they missed it or what. Because I thought it was only PCGS listing. Listing of uh, highest grade dimes so graded by PCGS. But somehow it opens the NGC. Nevertheless, NGC graded MS68 specimen designation. See the stars, it's it's like plus, 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 better than plus. So these beautifully toned, excellent, perfect specimen with no distraction. You see a beautiful gem, different tonings. I love these tonings, blue, neon blue tonings. They make coins very beautiful. But I don't like the previous one I showed you with dappled russety tones only. But when you have these neon blue, violet, rose, pinkish, it makes it beautiful. And tones, I love them. I wish I had one of some. So this is full bands confirmed. Yeah, here we have full separation, no distractions. No scratch, no cuts, no nicks on horizontal bands. So eighteen eighty dollars, eighteen hundred and eighty dollars, two two thousand seventeen at thirty auctions. Okay, ChatGPT, your answer was right, but with value. You made some operation, unfortunately. Okay, 1968 no S is a definitely rare coin, but this is about a dime, uh, a dime with no S, meaning the the mint branch that struck a proof coin didn't put S mint mark by mistake. I think they made a um, how to say, slip up and instead of they used I think uh, Philadelphia die Philadelphia, Philadelphia mint dies I guess therefore they for there was no S mint mark. Let's find exactly I, I may be wrong see this is a proof proofs should by default have s mint mark above the date but no s here therefore this is super valuable and the most valuable roosevelt dime variety 1968 no s dime but i think there is also one from 70s that's much more valuable than that and it's uh, the rarest one okay this is the second rarest i would say and most valuable in 1968 the mint left the mint mark of the die when it was created in philadelphia before yes it was created in philadelphia before being shipped to san francisco to strike the year's batch of dimes so the die was created in Philadelphia and they by mistake forgot to put S mint mark. So these no S dimes are extremely rare and valuable. So here we have 1968 no S dime in PR69 cameo condition. Here is a slap, you can see for yourself. 
here we have serial number you can check it at PCGS to check whether it's authentic or not 1968 no SPR 69 standing for proof 69 grade the highest I I must remind you that the highest available grade is PR 70 or MS 70 in coinage grading scale Sheldon scale they call it and this is just lacking one grade one point for for uh, to attaining PR 70 grade and it's cameo featuring some contrast between the device elements the letterings and president's head or torch and the fields the empty surfaces you see this mirror like black mirror like and this one is little bit frosty but not fully frosty when it's full frosty like whitish frosty it is called deep cameo so we see no date here no s that's right this spectacular this spectacular pr69 specimen exhibits fully struck design elements and virtually flawless surfaces with few delicate specks of amber alloy toning where's where are the specks amber toning are those that specs or maybe here on the nose let's check back side as well ah oh, here here as well just scattered no insignificant amount of some let's check back side as well as I mentioned before, the all proof coinage, all proof dimes come fully struck with fully struck motifs. Therefore, it's by default full bands. We have here freckles as well. Overall, it's very nice specimen. The deeply reflective fields contrast boldly with the frosty devices to create a startling cameo flash when the coin is tilted. So we don't have 3D image, so we cannot tilt a coin, unfortunately. Tilted in the light, and overall eye appeal is terrific, as we can see. This coin is tied with no with one other specimen for finest certified owners at PCGS making it a registry set essential. The 1968 NOS proof was what time is listed among the 100 greatest US modern coins. This coin pictured on PCGS coin, coin facts. So this coin is highlighted on the PCGS main page of 1968 NOS dime. So, this wonderful gem was sold for forty thousand and eight hundred dollars on January eleventh, January eleventh, twenty twenty four, also at Heritage Auctions. So nineteen eighty two no mint mark. I also approve it. I also confirm it. This is rare date, nineteen eighty two no mint mark, meaning no P. So it's also correct information. 1979, 1975, no S proof time. I think this was super valuable specimen. I was mentioning before, yes, extremely rare proof time missing S mint mark. Only two examples are known. 1975, who's what time, with no S mint mark. It's also proof. They forgot to put S mint mark. 456 thousand dollars wow 2019 so 1955 was what done double die of verse i think here it made a mistake because 1955 ddo is for four pennies in constants but let's check out anyways 
I don't see any variety. Let's let's check variety vista as well for confirmation. Yes, there is no time variety. For nineteen fifty five therefore this information is not accurate. Nineteen ninety six W was what time? Let's check why. Special issue to mark the 50th anniversary of the Roosevelt Times. Roosevelt Time. Only released in mint sets. Limited mintage. Value. Can be worth up to $30 in uncirculated condition. With higher prices for top graded examples. So $30 is not that valuable. But anyways, let's check out. Uh, w... Mint mark above the six numeral six of the date stands for West Point Mint. The mintage was limited, but the metal composition is the same: seventy-five percent copper, copper twenty-five percent nickel over pure copper center. Same sandwich formation, nothing special, uh, like uh, silver's struck in San Francisco, or not or other so West Point just struck the specimen just standard specimen but with W mint mark let's read 1996 W Roosevelt time is the first United States time which contained a W mint mark these coins were produced at the West Point mint to celebrate 50th anniversary of Roosevelt time series the coins were only sold as a part of special 11 coin mint set which were also released in 1996 surprisingly the 1996 w roosevelt times mintage is even lower than silver dimes from 1946 to 1964 wow it's even rarer not rarer the mintage is lower than the silver dimes of these range date range very nice 1996 good job again 1951 s was what done with full bands why a key date for the series was full bands which is scarce in high grade I affirm it value high grade examples with full bands can come out over two thousand dollars it is indeed actual rare date anything dated before Pre-1964 is valuable because of its co uh, silver content and because of its limited dates, uh, limited mintage, meaning it had, they had less mintage than as related to modern, in, modern dime mintage as compared to. So let's go Heinz coin 6s was what time full bands another scarce full bands variety from the first year of series value ms66 fp coins can go for 1500 or more so and the last coin 1964 dime with double reverse strong doubling on the reverse side particularly on the torch and model why uh, value prices vary depending on grade but can range from 150 to 400 plus i'm not sure but i think this is another yet another error by ChatGPT. it confused something let's see it's the four the rules well time ddo DDR. Oh, it's not mistaken. Well done, ChatGPT. So far, it did just one mistake in 1955. DDO dime. So actually, there is a Roosevelt dime error variety with double die reverse. DDR stands for double die reverse. So it's a doubling is. On the torch motifs. Let's read information if it's available. 
So according to Rongas, the 1964 D FS801, this is designation, shows doubling on virtually every one of three letters on some of the design elements. Every one, on virtually every one, C, T, H, U. Is that a spelling error or what? Letters. And some of the design almost doubling mimics a double strike, where the second strike rotated a degree or two in counterclockwise direction. This is opposite of 1964 DDR, FS802, but similar to FS803. This variety is fairly scarce but can be found in mint state with some designations and they according to rongas they're different in terms of uh, impression the second impression have different directions let's therefore check out uh, variety vista as well for shots from close range to know exactly where to look for 1964 D Dime, EDR, Variety Vista. <laughs> but for now we need FS801. Oh, so the lettering is doubled as well. United, you see, there's clear double. In the description, medium spread is all seen on all lettering around the rim so therefore ChatGPT made a mistake i guess um, it doesn't even say which which variety has a doubling on the torch but it says particularly on the torch and the motor so great mistake Let's see if torch is... no, you see, nothing on torch here, or here, no, 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 flame is a little bit doubled as well, yes, it has doubling, so, another excellent job for ChatGPT, so this is rare variety as well, let's say scarce, not very rare, because in terms of value, it is worth hundreds of dollars, not thousands. Okay.